Hi everybody, I'm Frank O'Brien and welcome to robertfrancis.wine.e. Today in the fourth of my wine series with Curious Wines I, I'm tasting a Barossa Valley Chardonnay from Earthworks which is the 2008 and this retails for $12.99 a bottle. Um, for those of you who will be fans of Robert Francis Wine.e you will see that I've tasted, this is the second Chardonnay from Curious Wines that I tasted. Now while the other one got 86 and people were like, oh my god, it sounded terrible, 86 is still a really solid score. Anything over 80 like you used to get at school is a solid score. So while 86 seems low in comparison to the other scores, it's still a, it's a, still a pretty solid score. And that uh, Chilean Chardonnay wasn't as bad as perhaps the video suggested. It just didn't deliver for me the way I thought it would. So hopefully, with this being a Barossa Valley Chardonnay, and Mike from Curious Wives uh, is a big Barossa Valley fan, I'm hoping for great things here, stored under screw cap, so that should be interesting. So, Earthworks, 2008 Chardonnay, Barossa Valley, retailing for $12.99. I've tasted quite a lot of Australian Chardonnays this year, so this will be a real test for this one to see how it stands up. I've probably tasted about 100, so this will be really interesting to see how this does. There's been a real move with Australian Chardonnay away from the tropical fruit flavours that they were famous for a number of years back uh, with the pineapples and the bananas and the mangoes and all that, uh, which was warm climate fruit, where there's now much more move to cool climate fruit where they're getting stone fruits, citruses, that kind of stuff that um, other countries have become famous for in their Chardonnays that Australia are now trying to do that because the over-the-top, syrupy, super ripe Chardonnays, which a lot of people loved and like everybody else, I was drinking them um, people became tired of that, so they needed to try something new. So Australia, in fairness to them, has begun to reinvent itself on that front. And uh, John McDonald will love the fact that I'm saying that because I've always been a, a reasonably big critic of Australian Chardonnay. I always thought they were overworked. Um, in fact, the first time I ever met John, it was it's our conversation started that I said Australia didn't make good Chardonnay. He has proceeded to uh, that was a long time ago, back when I first started drinking wine, um, and that. Since then, I've tasted some fantastic Chardonnays, and there are some really good Australian Chardonnays. And this, this is much more in the cool climate fruit area, which is much more where I like them to be. That's my palate. You may, and I have friends who love the big, super rich, over-the-top, hugely oaked uh, Australian Chardonnays. That's what they eat and drink. This, this, for me, is much more cool climate fruit. Again, with some lovely stone fruit, perhaps a touch of melon and some nice citrus characteristics. Not a huge amount of oak on the palate, but there is there is a little touch of vanilla in the background. But it smells nice, it smells, it smells crisp, it smells inviting, it doesn't smell flabby or anything like that. So we're off to a good start here. At $12.99, I suppose by Australian Chardonnay standards, that's, that is mid-price range when you consider that Jacob's Creek can be bought for as little as seven euros a bottle. This, um, this will be their mid-tier, um, so that it's kind of their, the real workhorse of Australian Chardonnay between kind of 7 and 15 euros. Mm. It has a nice palate. There is some nice fruit there. The oak is a bit more prevalent on the palate. And it's perhaps the slightest touch of heat on the finish. It's down as 13.5, so that's, for me, that's, it's, it's very, very faint. So that, that I, I have a kind of a adverse reaction to that, in that I, I don't like wines that have too much alcohol in them. Um, or when the alcohol is too strong, sorry, should I say. Um, so you don't want the alcohol to overpower the fruit. And sometimes in, in warmer climate regions, such as the Barossa Valley, uh, with the warm sunshine and all that, the fruit uh, alcohol levels can just get carried away. But it's, it's not it's it's not really noticeable. But yeah, this is a nice chardonnay. There's definitely a, um, more oak on the palate than. There is on the nose. Uh, there's not a, still not a huge amount of oak. It doesn't feel like you're eating a, a, a piece of table or anything like that. But there is a touch of oak, which is nice. It rounds it out. There's good acidity to the wine. There's nice balance. Perhaps um, the the alcohol is just a, a hair for me. But again, that 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 probably won't affect most people. This is being tasted at room temperature. 
so even despite the cold weather at the moment it's, it's, it's still warmer than it would be just to taste any flaws and to be honest the fruit is pretty well balanced there's nice citrus again there's a nice touch of melon stone fruit yeah it's, 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 it's a nice wine um, it, it's not it, it's it's a solid it's a solid Chardonnay I'd have to kind of points wise I'd have to go 80 88 plus on it I think it's, it's a really really solid Chardonnay I think if anyone gave it to you you wouldn't be disappointed I think it delivers I think um, even at Christmas time now with that touch of oak um, you know rounds the palate out quite nicely quite nicely it's not over the top it's not super rich it's not syrupy it's not viscous or anything like that so it's a pretty solid effort actually I, I think um, not as good as the Albarino from Curious Wines Daddy for me but that's just my palate if you like Chardonnays if you like Australian Chardonnays this could really be your thing here um, it's definitely worth checking out anyway I should have mentioned at the start that it has kind of a pale straw color to the wine. Let me just pour another bit in here so you can have a look. There is a pale straw color to the wine. It's not golden. It's <clears throat> yeah. It looks like a cooler climate Chardonnay on the on the eye as well. So yeah, 89, 89 plus points. I think it's a pretty solid Chardonnay. I think if people are looking for a Chardonnay and they're shopping with Curious Wines, .ie, this you, you won't go too far wrong with this one. So hope you liked the episode. I will see you next time on RobertFrancisWine.ie.